All right, so I'm gonna be starting this new video series too along with the uh, how to program yourself and it's just gonna be along the lines of what do I have in my gym bag and what I think a lot of other powerlifters probably should have in their gym bag if they wanna see um, some good results. Anyway, let's get started. So today I just have one product I just wanna show you guys. And honestly, if you have in any way or shape or form involved in the powerlifting community within the past few years, you'll probably have heard of this product. This is, uh, this in particular is the reactive slingshot. Um, its primary purpose is just as an overloading tool. The way I like to use it is uh, once my main sets are done, I'll normally strap it on with either a weight I was using, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, and just try to bang out anywhere from five to six extra sets normally. Normally also in a slightly higher rep range, but it could be dependent on the person. Um, some people use it to get more weight. I personally don't like using the reactive slingshot for that. I'd rather have the regular one or a higher grade um, in order to use it as an overloading tool as far as that goes. But <clears throat> the main benefit to this, as opposed to using something like a board press or something like a pin press or something like that um, in order to change your uh, range of motion, is the main benefit to this is actually the fact that when you have this on and you're benching with it, you can bring it through a full range of motion where you can't through uh, something like a board press or something along those lines. Um, I guess uh, going back to the video yesterday from the other series on uh, specificity, uh, a slingshot bench would allow for much more specificity than a board press would. So it's probably gonna have more carryover in the long run um, into your regular bench press. The other added benefit to that is because you're overloading, you're used to at least holding a little bit more weight in your hands. So um, let's say you're a guy who uh, is benching uh, 390 for max right now, and uh, you get to do a little bit of slingshot work at the, at the uh, end of your workout. So you end up putting four plates in the bar for the first time or something like that, and then you end up banging out uh, two to three reps of it. That's pretty good for you mentally. And not only that, you get used to actually being able to hold that weight in your hands. It's not going to feel as heavy once you're actually going to test that out. Um, but as far as uh, the rest of my bag, you guys are going to have to wait and see for future videos. In the meantime, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. And if you guys like this product or any other product that I'm going to be bringing out to show you guys in the next few weeks while I'm revealing you guys more stuff from my gym bag, um, I can just post a link in the description below. And that way you guys can browse and decide if you guys think any of these tools that I use would be helpful for your guys' training.